Holy Trinity. First cyber. Once they're in position. So they're just and talking about Bugatti, you know? Yeah, two and a half thousand units. And Bugatti is like maybe 250. I still have, you know, great admiration for Bugatti, but our main business is actually developing and producing uh, battery systems and powertrain systems for many other car companies. So our customers include like Hyundai, Porsche, uh, Aston Martin, Koenigsegg, and so on. And basically... What we want to That's right, right. <laughs> First, that's not me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard Hammond. Here's Richard Hammond. Richard I thought that was brilliant. Matt said I was watching, I was terrified. <laughs> I don't know who was more scared, me or him. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the moon. There's Richard Hammond. Well done. Um, Where's the ring on We thought, what, what perfect way to end What these guys are doing right now is actually critically important. We're at a pivotal moment. Change is coming to our industry and to our passion. It has to, and it is, but that doesn't mean it has to be, as we're so often told, a bleak, dreary landscape full of things nobody wants to own. Somebody's got to be out there pushing the next. Remax, Paul Cummings, and of course. There goes the Remax. I switched to my big ones. Okay guys, there it is. Remats Mavera, 1900 horsepower. 127 records. All wheel drive electric hyper car. It's got drift mode. This thing's a beast. Spec checks in the forest green. Richard Hammond's around here somewhere, but this thing is insane. I'm out of breath, I'm sweating. Okay guys. No way, it's Richard Hammond, dude. Here's Richard Hammond. And the winner of the 2024 Canadian Electric Car of the Year is the Genesis Electrified G80. So my stepdad loves Genesis and that's our electric car of the year right there. Okay guys, so that's the owner of Renats and Bugatti. Yep. This is the Navara. This thing is so nice. So there's Richard Hammond, Matthias Remax, Bugatti Remax. I tried him getting a son of my Remax all the way. Can I get a selfie?
oh, sorry. Here's a fam <laughs> here's a familiar sight. The one of one out of the five Zonda R in liquid carbon. The exposed carbon from my last, the purple. There's the HDK we saw on my birthday and the McLaren GT3 car, you guys. So this is pretty crazy lineup from FAF. Okay guys, Richard Hammond is back. We got the exposed carbon from my last video. We got the HDK. I'm gonna try to do the best I can. I might have to come back and do a different day, but he's about to do another uh, thing, so. Of course, um, you know, every year we like to present some of the finest cars that we, we have available in the Canadian market and the Wyra, the Wind of God. Um, I believe Richard's had a lot of, uh, lot of time behind the scene of a few specific things, I'm not mistaken, but it's Horatio Pagani's masterpiece. I mean, this is the second generation Pagani. Uh, first was the Zonda that everybody knows famously, and most recently been, uh, been succeeded by, not by his performance, but succeeded by the uh, Utopia, which unfortunately we don't have here this year. You guys can have that. Every single car that we have here is a full carbon body uh, uh, vehicle, and it's an option that you can get from Pagani. Typically, you can also get a painted, but I mean, I can go into detail for days and days on these things. Every night and bolt is made out of titanium, there's about 100,000 euro worth of nothing. Chris, tell me about the ailerons and the flaps back here. Speed brakes, downforce, The women and the men that spend countless hours to perfect this weave and then the body shop that actually does the actual paintwork and the finish on it is, 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 is unparalleled. Tell us about power and weight. So this car is 1,500, it's just under 3,000 pounds. I'm trying to remember what it is in kilos. To be able to earn and drive such a thing, you're doing well and favoured by parading in the back. I think you should be subsidised by the state, really, to do it. It's a public service driving that thing around for the benefit of everyone. I don't really think that. <laughs> it's a privilege, absolutely. Well, Chris, thank you very much for sharing these with us, and thank you for. Famous race car driver James Hinchcliffe. He was on Dancing with the Stars too. They're talking, yeah. And Chris Fapp. He's talking about the M, uh, the McLaren uh, GT3 car. So as you can see, it's like a freaking Mato. So I'm gonna wait till all that's done. I'm gonna have to come back on a different day to film all of this. I also want to go see the Auto Strata booth. So we'll wait till. Uh, but this is like. So. so. This is my new friend Amanda. Sharing these I'll put a link to her Insta and all these together. This is the kind of stuff. And that we'll be uh, doing some we stuff with her car. See cars like this. And there you go. Can you see the uh, 720 Okay, guys. If you're an IMSA fan like I am, this just raced in the Daytona 24 hours. James Hinchcliffe, as you saw, is the driver for it. 720S GT3 car. This thing is a monster. Okay guys, it's the first cyber truck on the channel and I can't stand it. It's ugly, I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell you was thinking. Sorry Tesla fanboys, but uh, that... See that guy's got... Did he get that from the front desk or did he like bring that himself? I wanna... I keep seeing them. See there's another one over there. Oh, Motorized nice scooter. Anyway. It would beat this thing for sure. Okay, guys. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature. And it haunts me somewhere much deeper. Anxiety filling up every space, no privacy. And silently, it could build and build until you finally see. Whoa, it's taking over. Damn, no closure. Moving closer. We have a Countach on deck, 1980. Oh, I will answer the trivia question um, at the end of this video, but this thing is so sick. Okay guys, we have a 1957 Ferrari Tour de France. Pretty insane. We got a real Shelby Cobra, but this is insane. So.
So if you guys don't know that Enzo Ferrari originally actually wanted blue to be the race car colors for Ferrari, but the board wouldn't let it, so he would only do the race seats in blue and keep the cars red. Okay guys, last exhibit. We got the Holy Trinity, so La Ferrari P1918. We got the CGT that's been on my channel. We also saw this at Drive Fest, A12 Competizione, because that car is all tits. We got the new Lotus thingy, and that Lotus thingy, but that's where it's at. See if uh, Lucas will let us go behind the ropes. But pretty sick. Hey guys, so Holy Trinity, La Ferrari, P1, 918. We got the yellow CGT, we got Lucas. There's some stuff down there too, Black Mercy Lago, but been for a ride in 918. And that's really nice too, A12 Competition. It's pretty sick, you guys. So this is the Auto Strata booth. I'm, I'm beat. So I'm just gonna tell you guys that right Okay, guys, we have the. Versace edition Lamborghini Mercy Lago. We got the one of 250 Daytona uh, ACR, which replaced, you know, the original ACR. We got the Wiseman thing, but this is so sick. I love the Versace edition. That's crazy. I'm shaking. I haven't eaten all day. I'm tired. I'm gonna. They uh, opened up the bonnet on the 19th. So this is real. This is a Catalino car. That's insane. I'm beat to heck, you guys. I'm gonna get some food and get out of here. It's blizzardy. It's snowing like crazy outside. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, my. I'm gonna come back and get some better content, you guys.